Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1473. Hey, in this video, we want to see a formula that will create a sequential number incrementer for just the middle number. Now, here's the pattern we need to create with a formula. We need a formula in this cell, copy it down, and it remains AAA -A -A at the front and 17 at the end. But the middle part needs to increment as we copy the formula down. Now let's go over to the sheet 1473. In cell A4, I have just some text. And actually, that's going to be the start of our formula. So right before this text string, I'm going to type an equal sign, then double quotes, and then end double quotes at the end. Anytime we have text in a formula, you have to enclose it in double quotes. Now we're going to come back and add a formula element to the middle of this. So the text won't change, but the middle part will. For the time being, I'm going to Control Enter and then copy this down. Now that's just going to show us the same text string all the way down, but we'll come back and change it. I want to come over here and look at the formula element that we use when we want as we copy the formula down to have the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on. Equals, and we use the rows function. Now, the rows functions function just counts how many rows there are in a range. So from 4 to 8, that is 5 rows. So if I close parentheses and Control Enter, rows reports 5. But I want it to change as I copy down. So F2 and right inside of row functions. We're going to look and see which cell we're sitting in. We're in C4. So I'm going to type C dollar sign 4 to lock the row reference 4 on the first cell reference, colon C4, no dollar sign on the second cell reference. That's the end of the range. That means as I copy down, that 4 is always locked, but that one's free to move to 5, 6, 7, 8 and so on. Now right now, rows will report 1, because how many rows are there from 4 to 4? 1. Control Enter. But when I copy this down, not only will it give us our incrementing numbers, but inside the formula, if I hit F2, notice 5, Enter. F2, 6. This is called an expandable range. We lock the first row reference but not the second. Enter F2. It is expanding as we copy the formula down. So of course, rows is always counting one more each time. Enter. Now I want to come over to the top cell and hit F2. We're going to have to create that formula element right here. Now, if I just type the formula element, it would not work, because really, I need some text. Then I need to join it to the formula element. And then I need some text at the end of the formula. So watch this cool trick. Double quote, ampersand, ampersand, double quote. The last bit is its own text. The first bit is its own text. Now right in between, I need to create my formula element. So now I type rows. I'm sitting in A4. So A dollar sign 4 colon A4, close parentheses. There it is, right in between the two ampersands and the two text strings is my number incrementer. Control Enter, double click, and send it down. Well, at least the number incrementer part is working correctly. But I need to add leading zeros. Before we add in our formula the leading zeros, let's see how to do this with number formatting. I'm going to highlight the whole column. Control 1 is the keyboard to open up Format Cells, I go to Number, down to Custom. And then in the Type argument, I want to create my own custom number formatting. Zero. Notice the sample. If I type a second zero, that adds a lead zero. Another zero, that adds still yet another leading zero. So I simply type four zeros, and that will display significant and insignificant digits, always adding the proper leading zeros. 
Now when I click OK, that is exactly what I want. Now the thing is, formulas, if I come over here, I can't highlight all of this, Control-1, Custom, General, 1, 2, 3, 4. It will not work. This is number formatting, and we have text in this cell. Click OK, it doesn't matter. It's not going to work. Now I'm going to Control-Z to get rid of that. But luckily, if I come to the top cell in F2, since that's a number, I can use text function. Text function specifically takes a number, and if you give it the right custom number formatting inside the formula, it'll take the number, format it, and convert it to text. So comma in double quotes, one, two, three, four zeros, and double quotes, close parentheses. So now Text allows us inside our formula to apply a custom number formatting and convert the number to text. Control, Enter, double click, and send it down. And there we go. If I go to any cell, I see the expandable range with rows, giving my number incrementer, and then the text function to add custom number formatting. Now, an important point about formulas like this, we use rows here. But oftentimes, people use the row function without an S. This will get you in big trouble. And what they do is they say, OK, cell A1. That's much easier to create than having to remember dollar signs and all of that. But Control-Enter, double click and send it down. No problem. We could add the custom number formatting and all. But here's the problem. If we change the structure of the spreadsheet, like we insert a row, that now, because it was pointing to a cell that has been pushed down, is reporting the incorrect number. That's why when you're doing number incrementers, you always use rows, and you refer to the cell itself where the formula is sitting. And then you don't run into that problem. All right, that was a lot of fun with rows to increment numbers and text to add number formatting inside our formula. If you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.